Hi everyone, Mike Smell here for Simulation TV. In this episode of Simulation in Action, we'll be looking at performing simplified seismic analysis using Robot Structural Analysis Professional. Tomas Fadola will be joining me remotely to go through a click-by-click -click demonstration, but before we get started with that, I'll be going through a high-level overview of what you're going to see today. Today's demonstration will include looking at performing simplified seismic load analysis using the equivalent lateral force method and running the analysis. Our key learning objectives are how do we define a simplified seismic load, how do we display generated loads, and then how do we explore the results. So let's send it over to Tomas and let him demonstrate how to do this. Seismic analysis is the calculation of the response of a building structure to earthquakes. It is a part of the process of structural design in regions where earthquakes are prevalent. In Robot Structural Analysis Professional, besides the seismic load analysis using the response spectrum approach, there is also the equivalent lateral force method. The equivalent lateral force method is an alternative simplified approach for determining distribution of seismic base shear force on the height of regular multi-story buildings. This method is the most commonly used design procedure allowing structural engineers to determine seismic forces by a linear elastic static analysis of the structure. Applying this approach needs definition of a load case of a separate analysis type, seismic equivalent lateral force method. The simplified seismic analysis can be defined from the analysis type dialog box without early definition of the model analysis. Using this method requires definition of the stories of the building in the model. Seismic codes for this option are selected independently to the seismic analysis codes defined in job preferences for seismic analysis using response spectrum method. This seismic analysis using equivalent lateral force method can be performed according to the following national codes. Depending on directions and eccentricities definition, the series of static seismic load cases are generated. XY components of direction vectors are understood as additional multipliers for their calculated horizontal forces on each direction. From this dialog you can define groups 1 and 2 of numeric combinations. When mass eccentricities, by default 5% displacement of the center of mass, are defined on both directions, Load cases are generated for all combinations of mass displacements on both orthogonal directions at the same time. Now let me define a range of seismic loads. The range of seismic loads limits the levels where the seismic load is distributed and defines the structure height for fundamental period calculation with approximate method. Top and bottom levels can be defined automatically or manually. To define values of fundamental period, the following methods are available. Approximate, then values are calculated according to formulas defined by code. User defined, in this case values are entered manually by the user. And precise one. This method generates additional model case preceding seismic cases. Clicking on model analysis parameters button opens the dialog with settings of the model analysis. In our example, let me select the approximate method. Parameters of the seismic simplified analysis depend on a seismic code and a method of defining values of the fundamental period selected aerial. I'm going to select RC frames for both X and Y directions. As you can see, after closing the windows with parameters of seismic analysis, Two seismic load cases for X and Y direction and four combinations between them are generated. However, acting forces for the load cases are generated during structure analysis phase. This is why they cannot be seen before launching structure analysis. So then, let's run analysis.
In order to display graphically generated loads on the structure, it is needed to check the option Forces Generated Automatically in the Display dialog. After analysis, we can display the table of reactions. And scrolling down, we can see the summary of forces and reactions, including base shear for seismic cases. Our seismic results can be seen in the calculation report as well. Many different types of analysis are available within Robot Structure Analysis Professional software, including linear static, model, nonlinear, seismic, time history analysis. These analyses cover any type of necessary analysis that a structure engineer would have to conduct during a project of any type. Thanks for the demonstration, Tomas. So in summary, what you've seen today is how to define simplified seismic loads, how to display the generated loads, and how to explore results. If you have any further questions about this episode, feel free to reach out to us at the Sim Squad. Thanks for watching.